what's going on everybody as you can see with a new camera angle we are on 4k time 4k pop uh, i know the camera angle may be a little weird but uh, i just got this canon 90d whatever whatever and it's a 4k camera and it's definitely gonna up the content like crazy uh, this is my first ever video recording with it so obviously uh, this is gonna be where we start off and where we improve our game from so i mean i might change the angle in the future i might zoom in use better uh, settings, all that good stuff. But for now, here we go with the 4K. And uh, what I got for you today, guys, is basically just my thoughts on the beta uh, of Madden 22. Obviously, there's an NDA. You can't record. You can't show any gameplay. Um, and if you do, it's going to be some serious consequences. But um, what I'm planning to do is talk about the beta a little bit over some Mutthead gameplay. So I played Jay Gillen. I played Spam and Buttons. Um, I'm just really not going to be paying attention too much to the gameplay. Maybe here and there I talk about it, but for the most part, I'll be talking about the Madden 2 22 beta and my thoughts. And in the background, you'll just be able to watch some, you know, high level comp games of Madden 21. And uh, there were actually some pretty good games. And like I said, here and there, I will step in and be like, oh, look at this dot. Oh, this is why I did that. So definitely a nice video for you guys today. Hopefully, you like this new camera angle. If you like the new content on the way. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the other side second all right guys so uh my first things i kind of want to talk about on the beta is you know the amount of games i played it's not as many as you know i should have been on um but let me know how many games you guys have played down below or what you've been doing whether it be practice mode whether you've just been looking the mutt cards whether you've been playing regs online regs let me know what you've been playing for the most part i played like a couple mutt head to head games because if you did have the beta uh if you got the beta code you actually are able to play mutt on there so it's pretty unique um you know there's this 92 overall team the only bad thing about the mud is can't play a friend it's not on all madden and they lock you in with buccaneers playbook on offense and defense so uh right off the bat like i said i got onto mud i played a game and the final score saho was there to witness it was 34 to 31. Um, i actually end up winning but to be fair to the score, I was actually dominating the whole game. Uh, I kind of like bullshitted at the end, threw a couple of terrible picks, but we did go on a money drive. We ended up scoring with like 10 seconds left on a scramble with QB Wentz, which is gonna lead up to my next point. Uh, one of the points I wanna get off right now, right here, right now is uh, the QB scramble is back, boys. They could obviously change it by the time the game comes, but from what I've witnessed, you don't need a skate bar just to scramble like you did in this year and last year's Madden. And what I mean by that is basically there's just, uh, due to the like next gen motion and the way players run, you are able to just maneuver out of, in and out of holes. Um, uh, what's it called? Step up in the pocket extremely well and just, you know, navigate through these little creases that you may not have been able to this year. For example, three, three, five wide, um, the, the gaps closed up so fast, the pockets collapsed so fast. So that throw absolute book right there. Hopefully we could track them down with Zeke and that's what we we're able to do. But going back to what I was just talking about, the left A gap, the right A gap, the left B gap, the right B gap, all those gaps closed so fastly as soon as you went to take off, they would disengage and sack you. Um, from the little bit of Madden at 22 I've played, at least Mutt, um, what I did notice is with Wentz, I don't know how fast he was, he was able to maneuver those uh, gaps and get out of the, you know, congested pocket which is extremely nice you we all know how i love my uh, mobile quarterbacks how i love to throw on the run this is going to be extremely nice like i said it could always change could always been a little fluky but uh when i did play some people i was able to just go through those uh look at where the left guard is right here look at where the right guard is i would able, be able to move um even through the a gap be able to move around and uh it may have been that my opponent was a buster he didn't know how to contain um, or his D-linemen were just not fighting, but like I said, was able to move around and you guys are gonna love that so much. The next point of thought I wanna talk about, boys, is um, let's just stick, I guess, uh, we could stick on the offensive side. And it's just uh, the way the players move on offense when getting open on routes. Uh, this is not talking about momentum or any of those abilities that uh, I'm not, I haven't really even tested those, but. I felt like the fluid, the fluidity of my players on their routes was very solid. Obviously, I had to watch out for um, when I get momentums and all that. But 
the two routes I did notice that were kind of funky looking were outs and ins. I mean, maybe not ins, but for sure out routes. So I don't, we all know how I like to motion out those out routes um, in bunch, whether it be to the, the weak side, the strong side. They kind of would run a little upfield like a streak, boys. I like once more. They may have fixed it. They may will. They maybe will fix it. But felt like those out routes definitely kind of ran up too fast upfield. And you know, uh, there's one specific time I was actually playing another competitor, and he threw an out route, and I picked him off when I was with a deep third, which is pretty insane to think about because thirds never play out routes. So I sent an all-out blitz. His out route, just imagine it kind of running up field like a streak. My third jumped on it. I think I actually ended up dropping it, but nonetheless, it was pretty crazy that, you know, my third even played that. We were both very shocked. But besides that, boys, I feel like the routes run really nice for as how the movement is. We all know the movement is gonna take, gonna need to take some time to get used to. Uh, they kind of run funky. Everyone already knows that, but trust me, if you continue to play, we'll definitely be able to figure out how to move left, right, even stop and go. I bet, I believe, I bet you could probably still do that. I don't think stop and go will ever leave, but you know, it's, it's gonna be definitely difficult, but as I throw an absolute book right here, thank God it didn't get picked off. It's gonna be difficult, but we will get the hang of it. It's right here, boys, fourth and six. We just throw a drag, kind of get lucky. We'll take it. Next thought process, uh, point of th thought as I throw a corner out dot um, is I wanna talk about the defense, man. Uh, we saw in that last video, if you haven't watched it, please watch it, where I kind of break down some of the gridiron notes and thoughts that, that I've seen. Um, the zones, they already know the zones are like not really that good at all. They're working on it. They already said like, oh, this is a known issue, the zones and how they react. So like one example I had playing Mutt too. Um, I don't know how fast Gronk was, but my opponent had Gronk in this Mutt head to head game. And what's it called i was running cover two very rarely do i ever run cover two uh, it's been a while since i actually i love running cover two but cover two hasn't been good since like madden 19 and even then you just adjusted out of cover two you really didn't spam it because those corner routes are just insane cover two was decent this year with zone drops but that's not the point i'm trying to get across um i ran cover two very rarely and then like the one time i did uh, my user couldn't even get back so it's like gronk was on a simple streak my deep halves didn't play anything. My user couldn't even get to Gronk. It's Gronk, he can't be any fast. And I was kind of like thinking, why would I ever call cover two again? And that's how I felt. I'm sure they're gonna fix the deep half zones, but it was literally just a simple streak and I couldn't even get back. So I feel like cover two is definitely gonna be very difficult to run this year, unless we're bringing back the cover two and we deep middle the middle linebacker. But I'm not going to lie, I did that too, boys. I tried that, and my linebacker was kind of playing very, very dumb. I'm going to try running that defense in mud, but when I did play regs, I, I deep middle thirded my linebacker, and he kind of just got bombed so many times. So, boys, uh, there it is with the zone talk. Like, I'm sure every, every year the zones will get better. They always get better. They're always trash in the beginning of the year, especially on regs. They somehow always do get better. Um, but that's where it was for the zone talk. Cover three was kind of the same ordeal. They weren't really guarding any corner routes. But what I would say is we missed this high ball dot, even with the new golden ticket A-Rod. What I will say is that cover two almost seemed like if you call that, you're gonna give up a big gain. Uh, your user can't get back there. Um, the deep halves don't get back there. So cover two definitely. And my eyes has to be buffed up. It's right here. We're going to throw a corner out dot. Fortunately, don't get in the end zone. Maybe could have passed it up. But we will take the four yard line. It's right here, boys. We're going to hit Mike Evans on a corner out or post route dot this time to go up four points before half. And we do get ball at half, I want to say. So I'm looking pretty good right here. Next, I kind of want to talk about the sheds. So, uh, in my opinion, the sheds were pretty balanced. Uh, if you guys know how I play, Zeke is gonna get glitchy, almost almost gets out of here, but we somehow get talked down by Sam Mills in June. What is that, EA? Obviously, he was tired. But the next thing I wanna talk about was the sheds. Like I said, they were balanced in my opinion. Uh, if you watched me for many years, you know I'm a kind of like shed it out guy and play some good coverage. I love my coverage sheds, whether it's send three, send four. Um, as I kind of made a run in Madden 19 like that. Even this year, I was sending a lot of two, a lot of three is right there. Two easy plays go up 11 points. But 
the the Sen 4, Sen 5 felt like uh, it was decent. Maybe it could be buffed up a little bit because this year the Sen 5 was actually guaranteed pressure. Um, but I will say, boys, I know you're going to hate this a lot. From what I played, um, a lot of Sen 2 was still working, boys. So um, there was a, a lot of double teams. Kind of looked very reminiscent this year. It's right there. We're going to scream with some crazy pressure. Uh, the Sen 2 double team would just get shedded a lot. To be fair, these were like good overall players. One example is like Chris Jones. He was shedding. I don't even know who the guards were of the team. I think it was the Bucks, and he just shedded those guys crazily. But uh, the Sen 2 seemed kind of OP, seemed kind of back. Um, what I will say that I like to counter this is you could really just take off. You don't even need a skate artist. Obviously, with Brady, you're going to get hawked down. But, you know, you use Brady for a reason. Look at this next level play. We're going to use our Montez Sweat on purpose. We almost get glitchy, almost get a pick, but it results in him dropping the pass. This game is pretty much booked and GG'd. So, yeah, the Sen 2 has seemed pretty OP. Uh, to counter that, obviously, a lot of people will be taken off this year. I could already see it being a meta because you were. I was able to throw a lot of passes on the run. It's right here. Golden ticket, Calvin's going to ice the game. We're just going to fall down, take some clock, go into the next game right now. So hopefully they do get the send to, uh, you know, they get it right. It's right here. We are playing spamming buttons, if you couldn't tell. Trips base, that's the guy. PA crossers, that's the guy. We get dotted. I can't stop this play. I've never been able to stop this play, at least this year. Someone help me, bro. I hate playing this dude. But it's right here. He's going to dial up a play. We sack him. Actually, intentional grounding. Pretty much the same thing. But yeah, man, the send to, if they put a little emphasis on the send to and the double team blocking, I feel like there will be no more send to, death to send to. I know we're all waiting for that. It's right here. He gets cheated with CD Lamb. Imagine using a cowboy. I can never. Maybe Amari Cooper, maybe Dak. Actually, I am already using Zeke, so that's kind of a dumb thing to say. It's right here. We're pretty much just playing prevent. I'm going to do a little more commentary on this game as this game is a sweaty um, in comparison to the last game I had. So think of this one as more uh, commentary instead of beta talk. But besides that, man, I felt like defense was very, very difficult to come by unless you were sending to the blitzes. They just weren't screaming fast enough for, uh, due to the next gen player movement. Um, I feel like you could blitz heavily next year, but it's just like the zones being bad, the user being bad. If the user's bad, blitzes will always be bad, in my opinion, boys. Because, you know, your user is just there to bait you when you're getting blitzed. It's right here. We're just going to abuse Zeke on that table route. So, yeah, just I, for, for once, could say that uh, the blitzing did not look as good as it usually is due to the user, man. Uh, like I said, I got to play way more many games. I got to figure out some tactics, whether I need to strafe, whether I need to do this, do that. And potentially that will make the user better. But for the most part, every time I blitzed, felt like I was giving up a lot of yards um, due to the zones, the player movement, and the user, most importantly. It's right here, boys. We're going to run a little bit of bunch tight end. And he was not ready for this. It's right here. Calvin Johnson, golden ticket to the one-yard line. Looking nice out here with A-Rod. And boys, you may be wondering, how, are you, how am I on the six? Well, when I was playing this game, I was trying to change my song, end up taking a delay a game. He accepted it as he should. Camara gets in for us, no problem. But with all that thing being said of the beta, I'm gonna get back some more news for you guys. Uh, the more games I play, and like, you know, just the more I play, I'll give be able to definitely give you some more news. Um, I enjoy the product. It's always beautiful learning a new game. I don't know if you guys could relate to that or not. Um, one thing in specific that is right here, that has to be a pick, man. Absolute book, has to be a pick, man. We get that pick, we're rolling. Rewind that if you want. But one thing that you may, I was trying to just say before, I was rudely interrupted by the blindness that was thrown, is that Trips is no longer in Vegas playbook. Um, that's big news for a lot of you guys. And just in general, if you're playing competitive, that's huge news is right here. Fourth and three, Jalen Ramsey, too slow to make a tackle. That hurts, man. 25 curls, I guess I maybe should have put it on 30. I felt like I had a pretty nice bag for that. And when I thought about it again, I really didn't because the thirds never play anything. The purple was just too shallow. Should have had a contain on the right side so he couldn't roll out. It's all good. Let's bounce back on O. But expect a lot of Pats trips users next year. Uh, Vegas trips no longer a thing. It's right here. Corner out dot. Good dot. We'll take it. 
is right here, boys. We are gonna playmaker Randy Dandy Moss get the first down, get hit stick. We we are we are on conservative. It's right here, boys. Third and eight on the goal line. Uh, I wanted to playmaker Moss up, but they end up playmakering Mike Evans. We're just gonna take the sack and kick our three. We get ball at half. Hopefully, we could play a little bit more defense before the half. Maybe get some points. And boys, I'm gonna start trying to do comparisons now, man. Like, oh, this was never gonna happen, Madden 22. Oh, this will happen, Madden 22. It's right here. I don't know if this play is gonna happen or not next year. Could very well see it happening. The sideline catch, no. You will always be able to catch sideline catches, I think, in Madden 22. I think that was a primary focus of theirs. Cause we, let's be honest, man. Uh, sideline catches have been broken for a while it's right here we're running the same defense we're just trying to hold them in the pocket scream a little bit and that's what we do can we please pick it up no we cannot that would be such a huge momentum changer if we were able to pick that up scoop and score it's right here boys once more in 146 we're just trying to get some pressure and we play great defense he could have thrown that underneath route for not really that many yards we'll take it um and we're gonna get the ball back with a chance to get more points before half double dip in the chip Right here, boys, we decided to mix it up, run a little bit of much tight end, and boom, easy slant route dot. I think he has some acrobats out there, which is scary, but uh, we will always be able to lowball that. And we run the same play again because we know this play right here gives him some issues. It's right here, we just missed a couple reads. Felt like we had to cut some people open, whether it be A or the little uh, slant or even the little uh, in route. We could have thrown one of the three, but we just decided to take off with A-Rod and use that escapability, something that will be used a lot next year. Uh, calling in right now, it's right here. There we go with that in route. Honestly, didn't get as many yards as I wanted to, but we're fine. We're just playing for three at this time. It's right here, bunch tight end, boot over. Good old reliable, we low ball it, get our points, go into half. Right here, fresh out of half, third and three, trying to convert this down. I'm looking for Calvin or I'm looking for my flat route. And he actually makes a good adjustment. And right here, we are going to be wild. He sends one person. Thankfully, no sheds. I should have just taken off. Instead, I try to hit R1 on the run. And we get a terrible, terrible throw. Uh, chat, let me know if you think that was accurate. That would have been a dot. The only thing going against me on that is that A-Rod's release on the run is so long. It takes so long. Um, I don't know, man. I feel like I got cheated right there. But then again, it could have been a pick either way. Either way, I can't throw that. That's some wild, wild, wild thing, right? Wild shit right there, man. I, that's just unbelievable that I threw that. Right here, boys. He's going in the A slot formation. That's actually been super popular towards the end of the year. We completely bagged that up. Pat Willis with his third sack. We're going to call a timeout, boys. Third and 15. You know what that means? One, four, six. Count out one, four, six. There we go. At a brain fart. And right here, man, we are going to try to play good defense without getting quick hiked. And Spamming actually does catch us with a quick hike. But there goes Ramsey making up for what he did earlier. And honestly, I don't even think he did anything bad earlier. It's just that he didn't make that tackle. Great swap right there. And here we go. This is the biggest play of the game so far. If we get a stop, be close to field goal range. Um, and right here, same thing. Cover four, one, four, six. I should have brought my inside quarters in the box. And really, there's just nothing there. We make a tackle. Great defense. Great conservative passive defense. Right here, man. We're just trying to dial up some cute dots. And maybe this is not the time to be doing that. It's right here. Zadarius Smith. He has actually really high zone. So it makes sense why he played that. And, uh, boys, we were having a great first half on offense. And defense, it was a little questionable. But, you know, we just bagged up. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel like if I just get seven right here, this game's cooked. And let's just see if we could do it. It's right here. We are going to roll out. And we thought we think we have this corner out. But he makes a crazy click on. And I'm super, super just, that's not me. That's not characteristic of me. Should have taken off and got my yards. Maybe a first down. I'm going to rewind this real quick to see from my own eyes. I see right here, I definitely could have taken off due to him clicking on. But in hindsight, you never know if he's going to click on. You never know if he's going to send that guy. Great user play. Just, he's hell. Spamming buttons is hell. So right here, boys, we are once more sending the conservative uh contain defense and he doesn't care about that he cooks us up and dots us down to the 14 and you know you see why it's so annoying playing them you know the same play is coming uh, actually been playing really good against it all game until now it's right here kittle out of bounds to the eight we will take it it's right here taylor mace through the a gap we decided to take things into our own hands wish we could have gotten that sack wish we could have got a fluky pick six 
but here we go third and four i'm gonna run the same adjustments and look at the left side right here boys this is gonna be a soft squat that gets sucked into the middle terrible 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 and oh my god that hurts i should have cloud flatted i didn't think he'd get sucked in all the way there but then again that's what soft squats do can't be mad at anyone else besides myself can't even be mad at myself for that i mean it's just a soft squat doing what it does and that is we, we don't know what it does I'm trying to think of some madden 22 talk boys but i'm not gonna lie i'm thinking about madden 21 in this gameplay right here we're bagged again i could just honestly compare it really really well to madden 21 next gen man and i really didn't play madden 21 next gen and that goes to show is right here fourth and in inches fourth and one whatever you want to call it this is going to be a tough tough down to get we're going to let it go to the fourth and we're looking for moss on the playmaker he is in man coverage it's either him or calvin and calvin absolutely torches but we decide guess what moss is more open terrible rack animation i guess we could have playmakered nonetheless we don't get the yard that we need it was literally a matter of inches and here we go boys a slot right here crossing dot we get stuck on our guy we fall down it's all bad he gets down to the 26 and just when we think things are over there goes ramsey number 20 making a hell of a play to give us some life put it together pov zero points in the second half just terrible terrible offense like two picks of unfortunate couple plays but it's all good we got life still let's do this one time he is in man coverage i think as we're trying to dial one up right here and he actually is going to switch it to zone at the last second which is great call by him we have r1 he should 100 percent caught this ends up dropping it but it's all good we still got three more downs to play with right here boys perfect example of madden 22 double team block shedded and boom we are sacked thankfully no safety i'm gonna rewind it for you so right here pay attention to montez sweat hopefully this gets patched we all know this double team animation where they just instantly break it through it i have escape artists i could take off but man i'm thinking either one of my guys will pick him up or even elliot will chop block for me none of that happens and moving on to the next play boys uh we're gonna try to hit randy moss on this corner uh, this post route boys it's looking very bleak for us it's right here we do not throw it in time should have been a book and man i'm kind of just on tilt at this point uh we decide to punt but guess what we're gonna call a timeout and go for this this is a play of the game this is a game right here boys if i don't get it it's gonna be over i don't have any timeouts um we'll always hold them to three but it's not gonna look like we're gonna hold them to three if we actually get stopped right here it's right here man we are gonna dial up the same play and man if this is anything like next year it's gonna be tough send two once more they get through we get hit as we throw nothing was open great game to my guy spamming button my teammate he's gonna take this all the way to the one and he's gonna score on the next play guys i will be back for literally a couple more videos of madden 22 talk like i said no gameplay but hopefully literally like the day before or you know the the time at the beta ends i'll have my final initial thoughts just gotta play more i definitely just gotta play more and if you guys want to try to run a game hit me up in the comments below if you have the beta and i might be giving away some beta codes once i get some more i've already given away a few so comment like share sub all that good stuff you might be the lucky one Till next time boys i'll catch you appreciate you rocking with me with this beta review slash comp gameplay i mean i know this is a little off like unorganized but hey i felt like it was a pretty good video so till next time boys